videographical enthusiasts slow -mo here again with another video this time it's the spooky high stakes for the pico 8 an average human body contains about 5000 milliliters of blood <laughs> oh it's all gone oh no where did all the blood go <laughs> Don't take it too hard, you are living on borrowed time anyway, ain't that the truth? Here, the last shot is on me, it will take the edge off. Or, maybe you can win it all back. How about it? One last game. So, this is uh, from the, you know, the famous genre of the classic vampire card game we all know about vampire card games there are a series of cards numbered two through nine and there's also as you can see a vampire card and the idea is that you need to ram a stake through the heart of the vampire And you win various amounts of blood. It's a very well-made game. Very fun game. Creative idea. Doing very badly at it. It is a little bit like Minesweeper in that sometimes it is kind of impossible to actually win. It just comes down to the most sort of pure random guess. I will try and explain it. Oh, God. Well, I won that round, but I've lost 14 milliliters of blood. You obviously you start with very small amounts and you try and work your way up, win back your blood. I have done it once, I'll say that. So, we can ascertain from this that the card on the right middle is the vampire card because you see these numbers here, 5 plus and 9 plus, those are hints at what cards they are underneath. And since we've got the 9 here, we know that anything that is 9 or above has to be the vampire. So we ram a stake through it. And you see we flip four cards evaded the vampire and we got a stab bonus stabby stabby so again we know this top one is nine plus but we don't know if it's the nine or the vampire but we can use these cards to kind of hint if you if you get a row or a column correct there you go we knew where the nine was. If you get a raw or a column collect, correct, you get uh, extra hints. But like I say, sometimes it is purely just random. Oh, well, we know this one again because we've got the nine plus and we can see the nine card. Rather a bit of fun, isn't it? I thought I'd pep this video up with some vampire facts. Oh, now then, look at this. We've got the eight. We know the one next to it is bigger than eight. It's greater than eight, so it's nine or vampire. Let's unlock this plus three and we'll take a wild stab in the dark. Plus six. So if we've, we've, got, we've now got this plus card. So we now know it's one of these two because we've got the plus nine and we've got something greater than eight. It has to be nine vampires, so we can open this and this, and that's plus five, which is so it's got to be something that's greater than five. We've got all the other cards, so you see, sometimes you just have to take a guess, and you get you play five rounds per sort of turn of this. So, 
We know there's a plus eight on a bloody plus nine. So what I'm going to do here is put... Oh, that's not going to achieve anything, is it? I... Well, we know the plus five has to be six. And we know the bottom right has to be two. So again, it's just a guess, and I'm... As the 8 is out, I'm going to guess that plus 8 is actually the vampire. I was wrong. Plus 8 was the 9, and plus 9 was the vampire. Isn't it confusing? So I lost 10 there, but I've earned 37 overall. But now we get offered the chance to go double or nothing. So... Hmm... We know that there's a plus seven, we know that's a plus six. We know there's a seven available. Plus eight. What are we missing here? Five. Well, there's the nine. Oh, God. So in that case, that has to be... But it's no use, is it? That has to be the five. But this isn't going to tell us anything. Because we know that these numbers are definitely both bigger than... Six. Six, two and four. Remember, is any of this clear? Got to be a guess. Ah! Oh, I would have gone for the plus eight, but because I lost last time... I thought I'll go for the plus seven. Didn't win anything. We've only got six millilitres of blood. This is not looking good for us. And of course by us I mean me. Because you're not playing, are you? I was going to pepper this video with some vampire facts. I don't really know many vampire facts. One fact I do know about vampires is that vampires aren't real. There's a vampire fact for you. Um. Ooh. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. So this game is available on the Pico 8. Oh, hold, hold on a second, look. We know that the card under the 9 is greater than the 9, so it has to be Vampire. So we've managed to scrape back into positive figures. No, we haven't. We've just lost. We're on 4 millilitres. That's all we've got. We lose everything. We are dead. Now then, uh, oh god, what a way to start, what a way to start, what a way to continue. <laughs> so, plus six should be fine, so I always like to try and go the quickest route to getting some sort of benefit. We've got the nine out, so if we can find a plus nine, like there, can win a little something. Uh, if we go down here... Well, that's not going to be much use, because we've got the two and the three, but everything is going to be bigger than the five except the four. Shit! If that had been the nine, that would have been an excellent card. been an excellent card to put the arrows on. Keep losing. We have to win here. Have I lost everything? I'm dead. No, I've lost minus one. We're on three. Three millilitres of blood is all we've got left. Did you survive on that? I highly doubt it. 
Okay, here we go. I think... In fact, I know where it is. It's bottom middle. Bottom middle. There's a good start. Now then, if we get... Well, look, there's a plus three there, so that's likely to be low. Oh, and it would be the one between the three and the eight. I do like the soundtrack to this. Look at that. What a, what a hand to be dealt. We can see the nine. We've got a plus nine. Maximum earning potential. This could be where we start to turn things around. A plus four there. Um, pure, pure guesswork. Oh, for God's sake. I assumed the plus five would be uh, good enough. So. Ah, oh, dreadful. I've started to turn it round, but I've uh, done very badly. Can we get back to 20 millilitres? Is that the plan? Get back to 20 millilitres. Right, if I put the arrows on the 9, we know that that is guaranteed to be lower than the 9. Don't... this hasn't really given us much. No. What an absolutely dreadful round of high stakes this has been. I think you kind of... You have to plug away and sort of get these... Uh, well, look, it's one of these two. Got lucky. You have to build up these sort of piddling little numbers with your piddling little numbers. But once you actually start winning big... You play the uh, stronger vampires, and you win slash lose more money, or more blood even. Look at this, we're getting a getting a little bit of luck now. Starting to starting to go my way a bit. We're on thirty three milliliters, so let's not screw this up. Right, if we put this on the eight. Now then, we know the one to the left of the eight is either the nine or the vampire, and this is the nine or the vampire. Which means we can unlock this top row. It doesn't really mean anything though, does it? It doesn't really mean anything. I'm just going to stick the stake in here hope for the best and we got the best I've won now 45 now I think normally I would just uh, I would just take that I'd take the winnings but I think for the sake of the video let's see what we can do hmm Bloody hell. What we can do is we can lose everything. Highly annoying. Winning's nothing. Still on 13. Again, can we get over 20? Can we just get back to 20 or higher? So yeah, this is a game on the Pico 8. And the Pico 8 is uh, a fantastic little... What's called a fantasy console. It's a video games console that doesn't really exist. And the idea of it is that it's easy for people to program games on it. Because it limits the... Oh, we know we know where this is, sorry. We've got 7, 8, 9 and we've got an 8 plus. Yeah, the Pico 8 has got a, a very limited sort of palette to it. Which means that you... Don't waste time 
endlessly trying to make the game look aesthetically brilliant. You kind of, you have to work within the parameters that you've been set. And someone has programmed this game. Pico 8 is famously the software that was used to make the original version of the platformer Celeste. It's probably the sort of most well-known example of a Pico 8 game. I find this a very fun little time waster. Doing horrifically badly once again. I was hoping to actually show you what it was like to play in sort of like later stages of this. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, does it? Because I am bloody useless at it. Uh, so we know both of those are smaller than seven. Fewer guess, got it wrong. How irritating. I'm just going to go for a guess straight up. Nine plus. Bam. Wrong. Of course it is. Lost 14. <laughs> I think I'm about to die. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, here we go. Get this on the nine. Both of those are smaller. Pop this on here. Plus six there. Bam. Vampire. Worked out. Sort of guessed. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. These all look safe. There's the nine in the middle, pop this on. That one's higher on the middle right. There's the vampire. We're on plus two. Ugh, God, of course it is. No winnings, we're on 18 millilitres. We just want to get over 20. That's the goal. That is the goal. Uh. God. That sets us back to minus eight. Rubbish. Rubbish. Anyway, here's another vampire fact. The best vampire uh, is Count Docula. And that's pretty unarguable. I think we all know it. Oh, God. Three losses in a row. I think I'm on 18 overall, and I'm sitting on minus 17 right now. Oof. Oh, I can't believe it. My guesswork is absolutely appalling. This could be death if I don't, if I don't get something magical here. Right. Pure guess again. Bam, right in the middle. Clinging on for dear life. Having lost 13. <laughs> oh, God. I was really hoping to do much better than this, given that I have, as noted, previously won a game of this. This is so bad. I don't know which one it is. I do now. I'm right. Come on, let's get over 20. Shit. It's going to be a nightmare if I don't die nor get over 20, because I'm going to be just stuck in limbo. Perpetuity. I want to throw the game. Bloody hell. Looks like I might not have to. Oh. All 
right, it's one of those top two. It's one of those top two. I don't know, I just have to be a guess. I got it correct. Well, there we go. We're back on 20. Brilliant. Well, that'll do then. That's a video. We'll call that a wrap. Thank you very much for watching. If you like that video, please like the video, comment on the video, follow the channel. If you are following the channel, ding that bell. And maybe you'll do some more high stakes in the future. Thank you very much for watching. In the meanwhile, go away.